Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down near the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the WTI oil and as you can see, we are up roughly 0.57%. We did fall quite aggressively all the way down towards a hundred dollar range and then re rally. So at this current stage, we're just doing the same thing. We are getting squeezed into uh, this uh, triangle. And at some point, uh, this is going to break to the upside or basically break to the downside. And until we basically do, I have absolutely no interest in basically entering this market whatsoever. There are, as I mentioned several times before, there are um, there is a possibility that we rally, mainly due to the war in um, Eastern Europe. So, if um, Euro, for example, uh, bans or makes a, a embargo on on Russian oil, that of course will be significant for this market, and this will definitely rally to the upside. So we have a barrier here of $109, we have a barrier here of $116, and then from 20 towards 20, uh, $30, that's also definitely a barrier. Uh, world economy is slowing down, and that should definitely uh, be a demand, uh, basically destroy demand, and therefore uh, the argument that this market will break down is probably stronger at this current stage. We did break down roughly 3% and then rallied but we're still getting squeezed into this corner and it's not until we break out that we know where we're most likely going. There's also a massive barrier here around the $95 that we have to break through in order to go towards the 200 moving average, which is roughly at 85. So world economy is slowing down, China's in lockdown, Europe's in technically doing really bad and the US economy is also doing quite, quite bad. So, um, Therefore, demand destruction is going to happen and therefore prices should drop in the long run. If you look at the MACD, it is flat, stochastic is flat and RSI is flat. It's kind of like the market is waiting on what to do and there will be a signal where this market technically ends up. So let's look at natural gas. This continues to rally to the upside. Now it looks like this flag pattern here is what is occurring. We're trading at the seven point five seven dollars at the at this current stage, and if this basically holds, then we are looking at a market that's roughly going towards nine point nine dollars or nine point five. Looking at um, at where we most likely will find resistance, it's around the top here, which is give or take eight dollars. MACD is uh, turning around, becoming bullish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. Um, this is almost an uh, untradeable market at this current stage because we're not supposed to be here. Uh, conditions in Eastern Europe are probably the main reason why this market is rallying at this point. Otherwise, people are not using as much natural gas uh, this time of year as they are doing in winter time and therefore demand for this product should be minimum and therefore it doesn't really make any sense that we are rallying this aggressively so just keep that in mind there may be uh, coming a period where this just drops and heads towards the 50 or the 200 moving average so hope you find this helpful you always support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much